Hey guys and welcome back to another Unreal Engine 5 tutorial. In today's video what we're going to be going over is how to implement the advanced locomotion system in Unreal Engine 5.2 and above. So if you were to try and install the ALS system or the advanced locomotion system into these engine versions what you'll get is if you try and migrate it over what you'll get is that it doesn't work straight out the box because of the new input system and it takes a long, long time to move over all of the input actions. And even once you do get them all over, there's still some things that don't work anyway. So what people have done is there's now a GitHub project which has fixed all of those issues. So the ALS system works in 5.2 and above. And today I'm going to be showing you how to implement that into your projects. As it's not on the Fab Marketplace, you can't just easily integrate it in or migrate it over. It is a plugin from GitHub. So I'll show you how to do that today. What you should also know is it is fully C++, so we will need to enable C++ as well, but I'm going to go over all of that. So without further ado, let's just get right into it. And what we'll do is we'll start by downloading the plugin from GitHub, and I'll leave a link to this in the description down below. So you don't need a GitHub account to do this. What you can do is just go to the website, hit the green code button here, and then just simply download zip. Download it to absolutely wherever you like, it doesn't matter. And once we've done that, we will right click on it and simply just unzip it. So if we go to WinRAR and then extract files and we'll press OK. And now we have this unzipped perfectly here. So we have this plugin folder with everything in here that you need. Now what we're going to do is we're going to copy this folder and then we're going to go to the root folder of our project. And for me, I've just got an empty blank project. We can do this with existing or completely new projects as well. So we'll go to where it is. So for me, that is going to be in here. And we have ALS test. And then what we're going to do is in here, we will right click, create a new folder, call this plugins. Now, if you already have a plugins folder, fantastic. Just put it straight in there. You don't need a new one. But if you don't have this folder, you can just create it. And then we're going to paste this into here like so. So now we have this plugin inside of our project. However, that's not completely finished. So if we go back into Unreal, what we need to do is now also ensure that we enable C++ in this project. Otherwise, it won't work. So a very simple way to do that if you haven't got C++ enabled, you just have a Blueprint project, is we can go up to Tools up at the top and then simply New C++ Class. You can create anything you want. So I'll create None, so it's just an empty class. Press Next, and you can call this whatever you want. So I'll simply just call this Delete because I'm going to delete it straight away. And we will create Class there. And adding this class into your project will simply enable C++ to be used alongside blueprints in your project. So don't worry, this isn't going to make it only C++ and ruin anything you've done. Many, many people work with both C++ and blueprints alongside each other. So that does work very easily. You can do that and have them both enabled at the same time. Now, this may take a few minutes it is enabling C++. And I think the larger your project, the longer this will take. And also, I think for me, as well, anyway, I found 5.4 is very slow. And that's the engine I'm using here but I'll get back to you once this has finished. So you can see here, we've now got a message saying project now includes sources. Please close the editor and build from your IDE. So that is the next step. We need to rebuild the project as the final step for enabling C++. So what we can do is press OK here and then successfully added class delete. However, you must recompile the ALS test module before it will appear in the content browser. Would you like to edit the code now? And we'll press yes. And what it's going to do is it will open up Microsoft Visual Studio. Now you should have this installed for Unreal to work. However, if you open up and it gives you an error code saying that you can't use it, that will be because you've got the professional version. What you can do is delete that and then re-download community version. So what you want is Microsoft Visual Studio 2022 community, or if you pay for professional, that will work too. So you can see here, we've now opened up the code for our C++ class of just simply delete. So what we can do is once this is open, we can simply just close this. We don't need to do anything in here. We'll go back into our projects here straight away. And what we'll do is we will close this as well. And then what we need to do now is we need to rebuild the source code for the actual project. So what we'll do is we'll go into our project folder again, where we have where we just were, go into the root folder of it. And you should now see you have ALS test or the name of your project dot sln as well as dot u project so you have this new file here now if you haven't got that what you can do is right click on the dot u project file 
go to show more options and then generate visual studio project files so what we're going to do now is test to see if this works is we will double click on the u project to open it up and you might get an error message here saying this when this is perfect this is what we need so it says missing modules the following modules are missing or built with a different engine version and as als test which is the name of a project and als v4 cpp which is the plugin that we have enabled so would you like to reboot them now you want to press yes and then this should either open up the project or you might get another error message so we'll see what will happen if you don't get the, if i don't get the error message i'll still show you how to fix that anyway what we'll do is we'll try and open it up again now that we've rebuilt it and if this doesn't open up so you see there would you like to rebuild them now we'll press yes and then here we go i did get the error so you see als test could not be compiled try rebuilding it from source manually so you press ok and what you need to do for this now is open up the sln project file and this will open up the microsoft visual studio and this is why you do need to have a valid version installed that you can use in the community and as you see here it's now opened it up so what we're going to do is simply just right click on the name of our project file here so that's for me als test right click on it and then just press build and this is now building from source manually so we're doing it ourselves instead of the engine doing it because for some reason it can't and so once this has done which could take a few minutes it's depending on the size of your project this should then fix it and now allow us to open up the project again so i'll get back to you once this is finished building i should also mention as well as i will leave a link in the description down below to where you can download visual studio 2022 community to make sure that you get the correct version as that is the one that will work for unreal engine 5. it's also worth noting as well you might not get that error message which means you need to do this if it does the build anyway and opens up the project that is perfectly fine you don't need to do this step as well this is only if you get the error message and i'm glad i did because it allows me to show that extra step for you but if you didn't then you'll know that you've not because the engine will start building because you'll get a prop up saying the engine is building and it will open up for you anyway and there you go it is now finished building for me you can see at the bottom there it took three minutes and 30 seconds so for you it might take that same time it might be quicker it might be longer i think it probably will depend on the size of your project but once you have finished building it here you see it was successful what we can do is then close visual studio here and go back into our folder and now if we try and open up the project you should see it should work perfectly for us so you can see now it is opening the project working perfectly fine because we have now built it from the source manually and so now we are back in our project what we can do to find this plugin is go into our content browser through control space and you'll notice that it isn't here and this is because it is an engine plugin so what we want to do is make sure we go to settings and then tick show engine content and show plugin content to make sure those are ticked i believe they should be by default but just make sure they are and then we're going to go to all and then you can go plugins and then we have advanced locomotion system community c++ classes and advanced locomotion system community content so these being here means it's worked perfectly if you don't have them then something has gone wrong and you know rewatch the video to make sure you've done everything properly or message me in the comments down below or on discord email whatever and i'll try and help you through it as well but what we want to do is access the content folder here go into advanced locomotion v4 and then we have access to everything in the als system as we would have had before so if we go to levels and then i open up the demo level we can see this working in action so if i were to hit play here you can see we are now in the advanced locomotion system and everything is working perfectly now if you just try to migrate this over through fab what you would have noticed is you wouldn't have actually been able to move the mouse or move the character or move anything but this works perfectly the way we've done it here through this plugin you can use the als system in your 5.2 projects and beyond working perfectly as you can see here so this is a really cool system if you haven't seen it already before this is very very cool although i imagine you have seen it which is why you're on this video but yeah i love the als system and I, it's great that we can now actually use it properly in unreal engine 5.2 and beyond as well this isn't necessarily a new plugin that's about but i thought i'd make a video showing how to actually use this as well in the newer engine versions so i think that'll be it for this video as we've done everything that we've wanted to do what we've done is we've set up the als or the advanced locomotion system in 5.2 and beyond so it's working with the new enhanced input system as well so thanks so much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it and hope you found it helpful and if you did please do make sure to like and subscribe down below 
as it really does help me and our channel a lot. So thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.